In the last video, I had glued these two discs together and I'm pulling them off now. Um, now I want to take the C part, which is this one here, and you notice it's got a wide end and a skinny end. The wide end, it's going to go in the slot obviously, the wide end is going to be up. And this one's also a little tight. I like things tight because you use less glue that way and therefore you get a stronger part. That's going to be glued in there like that. Man, that's tight. <laughs> a little too tight. Better. Okay. So this is going to get glued into the slot. So I'm just going to put glue here. Oops. Get it on my table. Okay. So that's going to be glued there. And it doesn't matter which way it goes. It just needs to go down in there. Push it in. And you can fill up the sides like we did before. Just makes a stronger piece. All right, so we're going to let that dry. And now we're done with the wood glue. I'll get that out of the way. All right, make sure that there's not a lot of glue in here because. This piece does have to go on it and it has to butt up against it. So just double check the fit. Make sure there's not too much glue there. A little bit, but not enough to do anything harm. Clean out the holes. I got a little glue on that, so I'll wipe that off. Now that's good. So while that's going on, I'm going to take these and these are called weld nuts and there's two of them and they're going to get glued into the holes right there and they kind of self-center themselves and I want to use th very thick super glue and if you got gel that will work too. I'm waiting for my glue to come down to the bottom. Okay, just put it around the outside of the hole there. Drop that in there. Make sure you didn't get any glue in the threads. Okay, and then do the other side just as well. Um, I really should wait for the wood glue to dry, but I'm in a hurry, just like you probably will be. Um, putting the super glue on top of the wood glue kind of destroys the strength of the super glue. So if there's any glue on there, at least wipe it off. Just like that. And I got accelerator here. I'm going to accelerate both sides. And that's going to lock them in place. Just like that. And I got to test fit this again. And slide it on. I got it upside down. See, now this time I got it upside down. You can tell because if you couldn't put it into the tube that way, we got one that's higher than the other. So we'd have to do it like this. Just make sure that the weld nuts go into the holes there. That's how you're going to attach them later on. Okay, that's good. So now with our basic assembly is done, and now it's time to mount the altimeter and the switches to the sled. And I'm going to start that in the next video.